Ever since I was a little kid, I always wanted a Datsun Z car. My name is Nick Hallass, and I just bought a Datsun Z car. So I purchased this 1978 Datsun 280Z from some young girl off Craigslist that lived in Port Orchard, Washington. She looked like a pill popper, but she scored on a barn fine and she needed money. I swooped up on it quick. I've been building custom cars since 1996 and I've taken tons of pics but never had much for video footage. Now that I own a media company, I said fuck it, I might as well just make a build video of the very first day I got it. So I drove out there, paid her $7,000, brought some camera gear, whoa, there goes a cop, and then drove it out to one of my favorite spots to do a photo shoot. Since everyone thinks you have to be completed with a car to do a shoot, I wanted to remember what it looked like before I got to modify it. I was always attracted to the factory look of the Datsun Z from those ugly halogens inside those dope housings. The hood looks like two balls and a dick to its slant eye windows. Even the shifter boot is made out of Gorilla Nutsack. This Z car was a complete virgin. It still had the original inline six. They're capable of a panty drop in 170 horsepower. All of the electrical was untouched and the interior was only missing an armrest and passenger carpet. The ass clown I bought it from did cut the springs, mounted some flares and five lug adapters, added some fender mirrors, drilled some more holes, a rear louver, and also removed the bumpers. Now that my Z's first photo shoot is over, it's time to bone the fuck out and take this Dotson back to the pad. I've got some modifications to do. Oh, it's about to go down the prom dress panties. I had some extra parts waiting for this build, so I grabbed some red wrinkle ceramic paint, a spare valve cover, a can side draft intake manifold and mounted three 45 DCOE Weber carbs. The next step was to upgrade with new clear lenses and LEDs. Oh there's my special needs dog, Stella. To give the front end a newer modern look, I installed some clear lenses with some switchback LEDs, then retrofitted some Cobb LED headlights, drank a beer, and finished up the passenger side. Then I installed some MSA headlight covers to increase the aerodynamics of the front end so it can focus on inhaling your wife's soul, small children, and birds. The rear clear lenses were definitely not bolt-on, but with some Cree LEDs installed, it gave the ass end a dope modern appeal. I yanked out the seats and center console, then swapped out the Gorilla Nutsack shift boot with a Nismo one. It's custom stitched by ninjas from Japan. I scored on a brand new carpet kit and some racing seats from Offer Up, mounted my Nismo pedals, and bolted in the new seats, along with the Nismo shifter knob. I also completed the rear of the vehicle with the backup camera, audio wiring, and the rest of the carpet. I then removed the factory steering wheel to gain access to the cages, upgraded all of them with white faces and LEDs, and finished it off with my signature Grant steering wheel and Decepticon horn button. For the final part of my video, I swapped out the factory hood louvers with some sick MSA hood ducks, guaranteed to make your girlfriend's pussy wet. I built all of this in the first two weeks of purchasing, so stay tuned for the next video as I'll be mounting the Aereo kit and prepping the body for its vinyl wrap of 5D carbon fiber and brushed titanium. So, from me and Stella, this is Nick Hallass signing out. And remember, it's either Hallass or B-Lass. Follow me, bitches.